Hi, you're watching Bella News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here, Fireside at the St. Julian with uh, Garmin Chipotle new newest rider, Swain Tuff. Swain, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. This is quite a uh, posh spot you guys have had yeah. for team camp yeah. this week. It's pretty sweet, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're one of five new additions for the, to the team and, and possibly the one that our uh, readers and viewers are most familiar with. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about your 2008 season and also about what's coming up in 2009. But first, let's just touch base a little bit on, on the camp, what it's been like. We've heard some stories of paintball and uh, you know hikes and some late nights out. What can you tell us about the camp? Yeah, that, that sums it up pretty nicely, actually. But uh, I mean, definitely there's a lot more stories to all those different scenarios. But it's just been a really good time and like a really good way to, to meet everyone here. Like it's you see right away that it's a really fun crew. And uh, I think it's just a really great way to kick things off um, just in a totally different environment than what we're used to. Um, getting out and playing paintball and seeing how everyone operates in different groups. Like we were teamed up and each team had, you know, four different teams. and Each team had four different teams? Yeah, like all working for one goal, gotcha. but it was like kind of how you controlled, you know, your your crew and, and uh, it, was, it was a great team building experience. and. And uh, you know the riding here and the weather's been beautiful. That's another aspect that's that's been amazing. And uh, this morning we went hiking, and uh, it's kind of chilly. We got up like nice epic hike, and we got right up to the to the top, and it was just warm, like probably you know 60 degrees. And you guys sunny. got up above the clouds. Yeah, right? yeah, super nice, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny because uh, for those that may or may not know, you rode on the Prime Alliance team in 2003 with Jonathan Vodders, who now manages the Garmin Chipotle squad. And that was a pretty uh, all-star cast of characters, that Prime Alliance team. Jonas Carney, yep. uh, Danny Pate, who's your teammate again, yep. Jonathan Vodders, Mike Creed, I think Matt DeCanio. Yep. Who am I forgetting? Who, who are some of the other? John Peters. Um, I think in and it was definitely uh, uh, Alex Candelaria. I Alex may have said Candelaria, that already. Yeah. Uh, and it, it was definitely one of the. It was the cool team. Like whenever I'd go to the races, oh, that was the team I wanted to go hang out at the great trailer. Team, man. Yeah. And you know, so that's where you and Jonathan. I guess he said you guys were actually roommates quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I never knew what to think of Jonathan as far as just like a guy. I just I didn't know anything about him, and but I just didn't really seem like we would click. And it turned out like you know, rooming together and. Yeah, well, we got along great, so it's kind of funny. We've been friends ever since. And, and for people who uh, live in a cave, which actually, uh, if they don't know this, but you've actually lived in a cave, a snow cave. I mean, Swain is an unusual bike rider in the sense that cycling, you came into cycling as just another one of your pursuits along with backcountry skiing. You've done yeah. some ultimate fighting. You've, you know, you got into cycling through riding the mountain bike with the trailer and your dog on the back, and yeah, then didn't yeah. you show up to Prime Alliance team camp having ridden your bike from from Canada to yeah, LA? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of an epic trip in February, but it was, uh, you know, I really hadn't, I'd been doing so many other things up to that point. I was like, man, I got to get on the bike, and I just thought there's no better way to do it than get back to the old touring days. So, yeah, it was a great trip actually. And you've kind of discovered your abilities on the bike uh, through that experience. Talk a little bit about, I know in 2004 was the season where you sort of had it with uh, all the doping scandals in the sport and just decided to step away? Yeah, I, I don't think, I think like when I look back now is like I was focusing more on the negative aspects of the sport and it's like anything else in life like if you just sit there and harp on those things it's like it never does, you know, like you'll never ride to your potential and you'll never be a happy person. And I think I had to just remove myself from it for a bit and uh, just kind of realize all the things that I do actually love about it. And for me, that was coming back to Symmetrics and riding with a, a, you know, a group of friends that I was just, you know, so happy to be with and, and help them develop to the next level. And uh, so as far as, you know, coming back all I thought of was the positive aspects and like being psyched about the good things because there are so many good things about the sport and uh, yeah it was it was a great experience with Symmetrics and a great place to be for the last you know, five years. 